Sangeeta here and today we will be discussing about the seven major differences between the rich and the poor and this is Kotsi T. Harvekar and some of the concept actually I, uh, surprised me also and many of us will be surprised last few days um, I have been in touch with several people who in this pandemic time of course many of uh, us are frustrated and uh, our businesses are down work is not good so many and so forth so as looking at uh, uh, T. Harvaker's uh, article it is a timely article which uh, hit my email and uh, I started listening to him and it is quite interesting uh, how people Mm, think about themselves, their values and uh, how the others are growing. People are still growing in this uh, pandemic, right? So let us discuss uh, some of the key differences and very striking differences. You will be surprised to know. So rich people, uh, they play to win and poor people, they play not to lose. You know, there is a significant uh, difference between these two. Play to win means they are going all out to win, no matter what. And the other person is cautious and they are uh, taking all these steps so as not to falter some, some point or other. And uh, they are first um, thinking about, they, their focus is on the safety. In case something happens, then they are not going to, um, like, say, go lose it um, entirely. So, it is. It is. It sounds very logical uh, that uh, people will think uh, like that. People with limited budget, of course, will think like that. But that limited budget will remain limited for <laughs> ever if you are not going to increase that, right? And also the value of the money also is going down every day so whatever money or saving that you are have, having and if it is not growing then it anyways is uh, is is like say is going to be lost right and the second thing is <coughs> rich people are committed to be rich and uh, poor people want to be rich so rich people are committed to be rich and poor people want to be rich the difference is mindset one is an action taker the other one is uh, looking from the sideways as to looking for uh, maybe their luck or some unusual circumstances to happening they are waiting for something to happen then only they will uh, start taking action if at all so that is the second difference the third is rich people focus on the rewards and uh, poor people focus on the risks so if something succeeds then what all awards what all good things will come to me that is what the rich people focus on and the poor people they are obviously they are they are on the on the risk side. The fourth is what they want. Rich people are focused on what they want and uh, like I want this amount of money in the next 12 months and the poor people they focus on what they don't want. Right? I don't want poverty. That will be the statement of them. I don't want any loss anymore. Oh, Bhagwan, like say, there should not be any laws. Oh, God. <laughs> that is what. And then the next is, rich people admire and accept the other rich people, other famous people. And they are genuinely doing so. So that increases their energy vibration. As we all know, the poor people who are broke, <laughs> they are jealous of everybody. Next thing is, uh, 
they're they're very passionate of, about their products services and uh, yeah products and services everything while the 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 poor they struggle with uh, their pattern of uh, sliding down that was a very surprising thing <laughs> and the rich the rich they think the challenges as a part of their opportunity for growth and success the poor people they are afraid of challenges just today i was speaking to somebody maybe he is around <laughs> and uh, i told him that uh, if you are afraid of change then that is a poor man's uh, mindset right and uh, that is a significant difference as well so we can change that uh, mindset and start taking little little risks at least little and then uh rich people don't complain and creep about uh, creep about the problems and neither they go away they back away from their problems poor people do and uh, uh, rich people actually accept everything and this is a, an aha discovery for me rich people like say we have hard stories like the uh, once goddess uh, lakshmi uh, wanted to give a vardan to somebody and uh, she wanted you can ask for this or that you can ask for uh, intelligence or for wealth and the person tenaliram he wanted both so that is a rich person's mindset what the uh, poor person's mindset is he will ask for either or or he will ask obviously for wealth and he will lose uh, entirely the uh, intelligence so that is uh, how he loses he accepts either or that is a that is an indicator of a poor mindset you want everything for yourself right if you are a rich person if you are having a rich person's mindset then obviously the rich person manages the money well and the poor person doesn't manage his mon- money well which is why he is poor and t harvicker again says even if you have 1 dollar you can manage well and i have seen lots of people who even if they have um, very low salaries they actually save lot they manage their money well and at the time of requirement they actually are able to give money away to many so that is uh, that is something what is called as money management uh only managing money is not enough because that also can keep you poor despite you having money beyond your proportion but it is not enough to uh, term you rich unless you change um, some other mindset issues also rich people make their money work and poor people work for the money and uh, money hi alden thank you thank you for being here i am so glad you are here rich people act despite of their fear and poor people allow the fear to stop them so these are all uh, differences between the rich and the poor and it it doesn't say anything about uh, having how much money if one has uh, the other like say every time we discuss about money today also i was uh, discussing uh, with one of my friends and he was saying that because the other people have more money they have more to play with so that is why they got ahead and they progressed well in their life and in this rich and poor mindset it doesn't say anything about that right 
so what went wrong with uh, the other person who didn't uh, have much to play with i see so many people the billionaires of today the rich people of today many of them were broke in the beginning still they could get ahead and we need to learn all those lessons if we are to get ahead right and these are very small things but consciously we need to watch and observe our behavior with regard to money so that is how we can only cross over to the other group otherwise we'll remain stuck with the poor person's mindset thank you for watching